Hello there, world of tankers, and welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Burning Peak, and in today's video, we are going to be playing in the Udez 1516. This is a tier 10 Swedish medium, and it is a tank that I find really, really annoying to fight, especially when it's a decent player using it on a ridgeline. Why? Well, if we make our way over to Armor Inspector, we can get a good example of what the UDES is working with. First of all, 13 degrees of maximum gun depression. And this is what the tank looks like when it's using that 13 degrees of gun depression. If I grab a calculator and we just throw it like that, this is what you see when trying to shoot at a UDES using its gun depression on a ridgeline. Oh, it's fine. I'll just load heat. Yeah, good luck. This turret is upwards of 400 to 360 millimeters thick everywhere. There is a hatch. Good luck hitting it. You can also technically shoot through the gun if you have upwards of, I don't know, 300 and... Oh, wait, no, never mind, you're not getting through that. So, yeah, in other words, uh, if a UDES is using its max gun depression, the chance of you actually cutting through the tank is nearly impossible. Not only that, but the upper plate is a auto ricochet to anything that is less than a 150 millimeter shell. So, yeah, the UDES 1516 is quite insane, especially when you realize it has 440 damage per shot, 3,600 damage per minute, and just about everything else you would want on a medium. I would definitely be willing to say that the UDES 1516 is one of the best, if not the best mediums in the game. And while I don't have mobility, I do have everything else. So what are we going to do here? We are on aircraft or glacier. I like to call it aircraft because, you know, you got the whole aircraft carrier. And what are we going to do? Well, with gun depression, we're going to make our way to the hills and we'll see what we can do there. They do have two TVPs, a little sussler. TVPs always scare me, but should be okay. You can also see I'm running improved hardening on my uh, UDES, and the reason why is because I like to play aggressive, and I feel like there's really no reason to not, uh, you know, get some extra HP if you're going to play a tank somewhat aggressive. That UDES is 1950 health. I've got 2170. That is a big increase in HP, and definitely something that's quite nice to have. So what are we going to do here? Well, we have the enemy Concept 5, we have the enemy Brigetto, and let's see if I can maybe get a shell out into one of these goobers. There you go, nice shot into the enemy Brigetto for 458, and we reload and back up. Well, not a bad start. I don't know if that EBR is going to poke it again, but they don't have any artillery, so at least I don't need to worry about that, do I now? There you go, nice 424 into the EBR. Just like that, we've done 882 damage. Well, that's pretty good. We have the Leopard 1 in the back. He does get a shell into my Chieftain, though. Not great for him, I guess, right? Let's see, if that Leopard pokes again, I do have a pretty good angle here. Uh, we also see the enemy TVP. It's always hard to tell exactly where the spots of cover are, but I do feel... Yeah, I was about to say, beautiful. Like, if that TVP backs up, we can hit him. Annoyingly, though, that EBR does get a shell into me. Yeah, that is really annoying, because I would have assumed that... Well, it's not that big a deal. It's just, as I said, annoying. Alright, well, we're going to move over here, and we'll see what we can do. Anybody here? No. Okay. Would not surprise me if that EBR tried poking this, so... Wouldn't hurt to just look at this ridgeline. Let's see... Come on, EBR. Oh, we are spotted. But I don't think it's him that detected me. I don't actually know what spot. Okay, it was the EBR. Wild. I guess I just can't spot an EBR, even though I have a lot of view range. He just outspots me. Alright. Well, you know what? I've, can, I've come to a decision. And it's a fairly basic decision. First of all, we do have the E4. We do have the 4005 on the flank over here. But... My decision is going to be moving over to this spot, where we are safe from annoying EBRs and other vehicles. I agree with my Udes. That EBR is a little rat. Alright, let's move up and uh, see if we can get a quick shell into the enemy concept. I saw a shot just ring out, which means we should pretty safely be able to get that shell and back in the cover. Just like so. Okay, good. Alright, not bad. Not bad at all. Now, with that concept going over there, the thought process that I'm having... Is that I... Well, you know what? Nah, we're gonna leave. As much as I want to shoot at the EBR, because he's a little rattler, 
I think the best play right now is to just leave. With everything going on and our team getting absolutely screwed, yeah, we're just going to maneuver right on out of here. And we're going to move more towards our 4005. And we'll see what we can do. I mean, the Progetto is making it to mid, which is a good play. And that's what I was going to do. <laughs> when I said I have an idea, I was going to push that player. But I think really the best play to make, especially with there being no artillery, is to move where our 4005 is and uh, work hull down here. I think that's really the most optimal play. Because this spot, we're going to be able to just get so many good uh, positions on the enemy. So we have the IS-7. And well, I could have shot, but oh well, not that big of a deal. We wait. We have the 113 who almost had a shell on. Let's see. Who wants to poke it? Who wants to poke it? They're pushing up. And we do have the uh, 60 TP here aiming. Beautiful. 445. We got a bounce from the enemy IS-4. And we reload again. We have the E3 as well. Let's just aim it on that IS-4. Ah, unfortunate. Shell did not go entirely where I wanted it to. All right. Well, we have the E3 and... There you go. Nice. Hmm. I do have support from the 4005, but we'll see exactly how much support that is. There you go. Nice shot into the IS-4, 473. We're up to 3,000 damage now. What are you going to do, IS-4? Huh? What are you going to do? Nothing, because you literally can't do anything to me. All right, well, we reload again. Yeah, I don't think you're having too much fun. There you go. Bye-bye. Uh, we can start to see why the Udez is just so good. Uh, I mean, with the gun depression and everything else. There you go. Easy shell into the enemy concept. And I do have the 4005 overlooking me. So even though there are a lot of nasties over here, I'm not that worried about them, especially because I can back up. There you go. And by Yep. Genius play. E3 is spotted. We do have the 60 TP on my rear. Both really scary tanks, especially with my teammate getting cleared. But um, I think we can make do. Oh, what did I spot? I spotted the enemy 113, which we do get the clear into. Uh, this is not good, though. All right, I'm going to chill here, and we're going to see if I can work this ridge line. Hmm. I don't really have much support, and I'm holding this alone, so it'll be interesting to uh, to do my best on. Nope, not able to pen the 60. We got plenty of heat, though, so I think we'll be okay. There's the E3 aiming, and there you go. Nice 450 into him. And we reload again, and I think that right now we're just going to focus the E3, get another nice shot out, and we back up. Three, two, one, there you go, easy clear into you, and I can't get up this hill, so that's not good. That 60 is going to be a big old threat, and let's see what he does. Well, he's going to try and rush me. Yes, beautiful, all right, well... We get one shell into the 60 like that. He's going to rush me. And with the gun depression we feature and the fact that we're on his side, we get the clear into him as well. Okay, well, we're up to five kills, which is pretty solid stuff so far. But we don't have any premium shells left, which is not very good for me at least. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's see. Is that E3 going to... He does. Tries to roll around the corner and obviously does not get the shell out. Okay, well, we are... Oh... It's going to say we are going to gonna try to work our best there. I mean, to be fair, I single-handedly did, like, everything in that game. I killed the 60 TP and enemy E3. And not only that, but just farmed and farmed and farmed. We could have probably killed that enemy E3. The problem was that Leopard was already on my side. And obviously, at that point, I wasn't going to be able to do anything. I think we can all agree, though, that the Udez is easily one of the strongest tier 10s in the game. I mean, sure, I'm not going to play another battle because that was such a crazy game, but that was literally only a seven minute game. And I did 6,600 damage, picked up five kills and did everything I needed to. If I didn't bleed that health, honestly, to the EBR, we would have been a lot better. EBRs are just little rats, that's as I always say. I'm just surprised that we couldn't spot it. I mean, I don't play enough in the EBR to really know its camo values. I guess that's a good learning lesson for me. What is the EBR's camo value, bro? 45%. I mean, it's good camo, but you would think that my tank with the view range edit features, the EBR has 460 meters of view range, and my tank has... 450 so i mean you'd think that my tank would be able to like spot an ebr similar especially because my camo's not terrible but oh well i guess we weren't able to either way 
I had a pretty fun session here and had a crazy amount of damage dealt with the Udes. It shows why having 13 degrees of gun depression, solid DPM, great alpha, and holding potential allows this tank to be stupid. I really can't name another medium that would have been able to do what I did there. And it's why I think the Udes is honestly kind of overpowered. The fact that you can work a ridgeline with almost no weaknesses is stupid. These are the kind of tanks that I think give World of Tanks a bad reputation because, I mean, what do you do to counter it? Nothing, really. The, the 60 TP and that E3 could do nothing to counter me until they pushed me. And what did they get for pushing me? Killed. It's just funny what this tank gets away with. It really is. But let me know your comments, opinions, and feelings on the Udes down below. I'll see you in the next one. And obviously, if you enjoy this type of content and you want to see more, consider smashing that subscribe button. Bye-bye!